Hey Gemini, what's going on? I hope you're very well. My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. Sorry about the crap shuffling. This is a new deck so I'm still breaking it in. It's reluctant to get in the blanket. <laughs> um, we are going to do a love reading for June slash July, but it is a timeless reading, you know, so whenever this happens to pop up in your feed is when you are meant to see it. Uh, you're very welcome here, Gemini. Thank you so much for taking the time to <laughs> check out the reading. Uh, I really appreciate it. And if you feel like um, liking and subscribing for me, you know, I would appreciate that so much as well, Gems. I feel like you have a King of Cups coming towards you here. So this could be a water sign or it could be a Libra or someone with those things in their chart. This person is very supportive. This is the one you've been waiting for with the hanged man. It could definitely be a Pisces. Um, very supportive. You can trust this person, okay? That's what Spirit wants you to know with the King of Cups. They may be a little reserved. You know, they may not be like, they're in touch with their emotions, but they're not, they may not be super reactionary, you know? Um, but someone like very, very supportive, very loving, very, very loving. I want to get one from this deck. What does Gemini need to know about love? Oh, Six of Swords. So you're literally about to move into a much calmer period of your life, Gemini. Coming out of the storm. Um, this is like your reward that's coming in now. It's, a, it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation, or travel. So some of you might actually be relocating with this person. Um, you have the magician at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is, I feel like you're manif you've manifested this person. It's your own little Frankenstein, Gemini. You made them, <laughs> you created them. You created them. Um, yeah. This person's like your reward, is what I want to say, for whatever it's been, like, whatever's been going on in your life because they're a sweetheart they're a complete sweetheart it's like this person is your light at the end of the tunnel and they're new this is someone new page of cups yeah it's definitely someone new you could for sure be dealing with a pisces here um so very very sweet you have communication coming in from this person so you're either going to okay so for some of you this is someone that you've already met and you're in separation with. For some of you, you've maybe not met this person yet, but you're about to get some communication from this person. It might come a little out of the blue with the Page of Cups, but this person is really, really sweet, very romantic. Uh, see, they're showing up as a king here but they're also showing up as this page of cups. So I feel like they're, they're very mature, um, but they have this like very sweet little playful side that, that wants to come out and play with you, Gemini. Whoa. All right, you have the lovers here. So this is like a true love connection that you got going on here, Gems. Could be a Taurus, it could be a Libra or another Gemini. The thing is, it may have taken you guys a little bit of time to come together because that's the deal with the lover's card. Like, you know, it is all about passion and true love. But the thing is, and I, th I say this in a lot of my readings, but I think it's important to mention it. The reason that they're both naked is because it's supposed to represent the death of the ego. And it's not like, it's not arrogance. I don't mean arrogance. It's like the ego is the set of outdated beliefs and ideas about yourself and about love and about the way that you interact with the world that's kind of been keeping you stuck. And it's the same with this person because I think they're a total sweetheart. A total sweetheart. Um, and I think you've probably both been through similar things. I think you're both kind of the light at the end, at the end of each other's tunnel. Queen of Swords. Alrighty. Clarify this Page of Cups, please. Yeah, it's coming in very fast. Oh my God, it's coming in really fast. Okay, get ready. <laughs> That's what I have to say to you. Um, so you have the Page of Cups with the Seven of Pentacles, right? 
if I can pick up the cards, the chariot, the tower, <laughs> and the three of pentacles. So you've been waiting, 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 right? This may be someone you already know and you've kind of put your, you know, you've sown the seeds with this person and now you've just been waiting and then bam, all of a sudden, there they are with the page of cups as well. Something happening very suddenly that changes things. Like there's gonna be some communication from this person that changes things because they're looking for commitment. That's what they're looking for. Um, clarify this, yep. There's communication with the Ace of Swords here from this person. They're coming in to offer you love. Very loving energy. They're showing up as all cups here. Clarify this for Swords, please. They've been waiting. I just saw the King of Wands. They've been waiting for the right time. Whatever that means. Both of you had some healing to do. You have the four, this is connected to the lovers. This is what I was trying to say earlier with the four of swords and the moon. Both of you had some subconscious fears and anxieties that you've brought forward from different relationships and different events that have happened in your life that it was necessary because often it is the case with these soulmate connections. You, you meet each other, you trigger each other, and then you kind of go your separate ways and you do your healing because it brings up all this stuff. And then once you've healed sufficiently, I mean, obviously when you're together, you can still heal, but once spirit thinks that you're sufficiently healed to come together, that's when union happens. Because there's so many, you know, when I was doing personal readings, like, and like even in the comment section, it's all, you know, people always want to know when, right? Which is totally like, I understand why, of course, you always want to know when, but it's usually less about a time frame and more about when the epiphany comes to you. That's usually when things fall into place. Like when there's a certain uh, enlightenment, right? About different things in your life, different things in your past that spirit wants you to see. Uh, clarify, they could also be a Pisces, more Pisces energy. Clarify the lovers. So this is looking like a past life connection. You have the lovers with the six of cups here. You're dealing with a soulmate. You guys have had multiple past lives together. This is why the connection is so familiar. And it's also probably why the connection is going to be really fast. Because I see you being in a, in a connection with this person really, really fast. <laughs> um, clarify this uh, Queen of Swords, please. reshuffle. Clarify the Queen of Swords, please, because there was a lot of cards there. Clarify the Queen of Swords. So some kind of cycle. Closing down. Give me a bit more on this Queen of Swords, please. Give me a bit more on this Queen of Swords. Ah. Okay, I think this person that you're dealing with was in a third party connection. Now, that could mean their mother as well. You know, it could be family, um, not like a psycho type situation, but um, you know, like it could be like some kind of karmic situation they were dealing with with their family. Um, because the Queen of Swords here with the Three of Cups, it's some kind of third party karmic situation they were dealing with, okay? It doesn't have to be a really, like, a romantic relationship, it usually is. This is the, it, it, they were, they had to end this, okay? That's the reason that you've had to wait with the hanged man. On the surface, that's why you've had to wait, but it was also necessary for you to deal with these subconscious fears and anxieties, okay? Um, yeah, you had to do a lot of work. There was work that needed to happen. You had to do work on yourself, they had to do work on themselves. So, what is going on with this King of Cups at the moment? Page of Wands. Clarify the <laughs> Page of Pentacles. This person's getting ready to send you a message. They're getting ready to make you some kind of offer. I don't know if they're still in this third party or what's the story, but 
they're getting ready to reach out to you and make you some kind of offer. Expect communication. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, could be dealing with a Virgo or Capricorn. Okay, what's this? They're gonna they're gonna come in and tell you they want to be in a commitment with you. That's what they're gonna tell you. Okay, what if, <laughs> you have the eight of swords, uh, sorry, the eight of wands here with the judgment. So there's communication coming in here. Very fast communication. And somebody has to make a decision. It's either they're gonna either come in and tell you that they've made a decision, or they're gonna come in and tell you something and you have to make a decision. Either way, it's communication you've been waiting on for a while. Okay, clarify the judgment, please. The hierophant decision about a commitment. Okay, give me a bit more, please. The nine of pentacles and the high priestess. that to me again spirit one more time like I'm five what is this judgment why is the judgment there oh I see I see it's actually um gonna lead to a rebirth there's communication here that's gonna lead to a rebirth like in the connection rather than a decision um can we clarify the judgment please temperance yeah this is good there's there's communication here that's going to lead to a reconciliation and a commitment so what is currently going on with this person the hermit you could be dealing with a virgo um they've been doing a lot of thinking this person oh they're going to come in very fast gemini <clears throat> the knight of swords oh my god all right get ready for this communication okay they're gonna come in very, very fast with the Knight of Swords here. It could be a Gemini. And they're gonna tell you a lot of things. They're gonna reveal a lot of things to you. Um, maybe you didn't know this person was in a third party. Maybe they're gonna come in and tell you what's been going on. But either way, the sun is enlightenment. It could be dealing with a Leo. And they're gonna come in and offer you commitment. <laughs> they're gonna come in and Yeah. They're coming in for commitment and union. With the hermit energy, you're definitely dealing with someone, you know, they're not, they don't, they usually don't move very fast. I think it's probably taken this person a long time to make this decision, but it's like, it's very kind of Virgo energy here with the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Um, you know, it's like once they've decided that's it. <laughs> That's it. That's what's going to happen, basically. It's just that it takes them a long time to make up their mind. It could also be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you're dealing with, but it's more this Virgo energy. Like, they think a lot about things. Um, but it's like once their mind's made up, that's kind of it. You know, once they've decided on a course of action, that's where they're going. <laughs> um, is there anything we need to clarify? I don't know what else to tell you here, Gemini. It's definitely, give us a bit. <laughs> yeah, they're coming in with this offer. Ace of Pentacles here. This offer of something very stable, something very solid. Um, give us a bit more about this person coming in. Who is this person coming in? Five of Cups. So they've had some sadness in their past. It could be to do with this third party because this Queen of Swords energy, if it is a person uh, rather than a situation, you know, it's it's she could be very tough, like kind of withholding of love, like conditional love, like a bit of a sharp tongue, kind of controlling, kind of manipulative. 
you know, so they may have been dealing very much with that type of energy. Um, tell me a bit more about this person coming in, this King of Cups. Oh my gosh. They've left something horrible behind them. Whatever this Queen of Swords is, it's been something horrible. Um, I feel like it's something, I, I think they tried. They tried really hard, you know, with that Five of Swords. I think they gave it everything they could. Look at the bottom of the deck. Some, the, the devil, very toxic. Something very toxic. They, they gave everything they could, you know, like standing at the edge of a black hole and pouring love and time and money into the situation. Nothing changes. There's no real love with the Five of Swords. It's just one-upping. It's, it's one-upping and it's control and it's manipulation all the time. And it was toxic. It could have been codependent with the devil, like one person giving and the other person taking. Whatever it was, it caused this person a lot of anxiety. <clears throat> and I think it, I don't know, maybe the person lied about who they were or like pretended to be really sweet you know, because we've all been there, <laughs> um, pretended to be really sweet and then after, like, they didn't realize till later that it, they really weren't like that. <laughs> they really weren't sweet. Because that Five of Cups is like a lot of regret about something not working out. But then, see, there's you behind them, the Two of Cups, right? That's you. I think they tried. Because this, you know, with the Two of Swords and this uh, five of Swords, it, you know, that's a Seven of Swords. It's something karmic that they needed to leave behind or they still need to leave behind. I think they just blocked it out. You know, I think it was just one of those situations where... I don't know if you've ever been in that type of situation. I'm sure you have, but it's difficult to describe. It's like... Especially if this person was really nice with the King of Cups energy. It's like it's almost easier to just ignore the fact that you're kind of being abused because if you face up to it then you have to face up to the fact that you've made a huge mistake and that your life is a lie <laughs> basically you know so I think for a long time this person just chose to ignore it because also maybe before they met you they were very much of the opinion like well it's better than being alone or something right? And you, you have this nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck here, so I'm thinking this person has a little bit of low self-esteem, like a um, little bit of confidence issues, okay, which is maybe why they stayed, because that's generally why people stay in these types of situations. Oh, Oh, but look, Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So they're leaving that behind, okay, with, with you. They just want to run away with you, basically, Gemini. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to pull some characteristics cards about this person. <clears throat> but you're going to find yourself in a commitment very fast. This one seems to want to come out. This person is very intelligent, okay? If you're dealing with someone very intelligent, very on your level. Um, but yeah. Definitely communication from this person. It's someone new with the Page of Cups. Um, someone you've waited for for a long time. It's going to happen very fast. You're going to find yourself in a commitment very fast. They're, they're dealing with a third party that they're either in the process of ending or they will end or they have ended. And once they finish their overthinking, <laughs> um, they're going to come in very fast with communication that's going to lead to union and commitment here. So I would say this person is preparing to send you a message with these two pages. And whatever they send you is going to lead to you two being together. All right, so give us some... Okay, this, this popped out. You have dark hair, so um, this person could have dark hair. What else about this King of Cups energy coming towards Gemini? What else about this King of Cups coming towards Gemini? Gemini? They're very generous. See, this is maybe why they've got trapped in this horrible third party, someone like take, take, taking from them. Because they're very generous, you know? 
that type of person, this sort of karmic energy, like this Queen of Swords, sort of, it's like a drop of blood in the ocean. I don't know if that's actually true, but you know what they say about um, sharks and a drop of blood in the ocean, it's like they can sniff it out. You know, this type of person's like, ah, oh, this is a very nice person, I can take advantage of them. This, I can make this work. I'll just stay with them. Suck the bones out, of, suck the marrow out of their bones. Um, okay. I'm just gonna reshuffle them because I don't really know which one it was. What is this one? Shy. This person might be kind of shy. Okay. Um, what else about this person, please? What else about this person coming towards Gemini? Very kind. See, they've just literally been taken advantage of by some harpy or some... I don't know what the male equivalent of a harpy is. <laughs> um... Feel free to leave it in the comments, but you know, no, no sweary words and nothing too horrendous, right? Um, faithful, this person is very faithful, which is probably why they've stayed in this third party for so long, because they wanted to try and make it work. Because I feel like they're a really good person. You know, it's just, they just put all their eggs in the wrong basket. Um, okay, what else about this person coming in for Gemini? Strong. So they're very strong. That could be physically. They could be physically, like if you're dealing with a guy, um, physically very big and very strong, very protective. So, oh, so this person's going to be very protective of you, Gemini. They're going to want to protect you. Okay, what else about this person? Oh, they could be a Capricorn. They're a very hard worker. Um, I mean, they could have Capricorn in their chart somewhere. Like, it could be something random you don't know about, like a Capricorn Midheaven or something, but they're a very hard worker. That's Capricorn energy. They might be a bit of a workaholic, okay? That's often Capricorn energy, like Dolly Parton, right? <laughs> Basically, uh, like, running the planet. Um, yeah. Okay, a couple more here. You have large and in charge. So I think you're dealing with someone, especially if it's a guy, like maybe they're kind of big, like big and strong. Um, they may be like in charge, like they may be like a manager or a team leader or something like that. Like your boss in some way or somebody's boss. If you're dealing with a, a woman, I feel like it's probably less about their physical appearance, this large and in charge and strong. They're just like very, you know, they could be very small, like, you know, Bernadette from Big Bang, but like Bernadette have like a very strong personality, like be very, you know, like large and in charge. Do you know what I mean? Even though she's small, do you know what I mean? Like that kind of, you wouldn't mess with them, right? I wouldn't mess with Bernadette. <laughs> I think she would eat me alive and you have loyal. Um, so this person is just, they're just a sweetheart, very kind of Capricorn energy, like, um, you know, once they've, I don't want to say fixated, but that's what's coming to mind. Once they've decided on something, that's it. Nothing's going to change their mind. Do you know what I mean? Uh, let's get, oh yeah, they're definitely, this person, like if you're dealing with a guy, I think they have muscles. Like I think they have pretty big muscles and I think they're big. Um, I'm just going to reshuffle those and I'm just going to get, let's get two more and then we'll call it quits. What else about this person coming towards Gemini? Three more. Um, let's get three more for Gemini. What else about this person coming towards Gemini? You have self-employed. So they could be self-employed. Let's get a couple more intuitive so this person is going to be able to read you very well this is very kind of king of cups energy also i just want to say on a on a random note here excuse me with this nine of pentacles and this uh devil they may be a bit of a workaholic this person particularly well not particularly but if they are self-employed you might find this person spends a lot of time at their job like a lot of time <laughs> um yeah but very intuitive, King of Cups energy, like this person is, 
they're kind of sensitive. They may not come across as sensitive because it's the king, right? They're not... Because you're also getting the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups here. I feel like they're very romantic. They're very sweet. But the King of Cups is in control. He's a king. You know, he's not reactionary. He's not controlled by his emotions. He's in touch with his emotions, but he's not controlled by them. Um, but the thing is, because he is kind of in control of his, his emotions, it, the King of Cups can often be an empath. You might find that this person you're dealing with is an empath, although they wouldn't say that about themselves. Like you might find this person reads you very well, or they read other people very well, and they don't really know how they do it, they just do it. And let's get one more. Oh, that fell on the floor. Um, oh, I'm just gonna reshuffle that one. Right, let's just get one more, please, for this person coming towards Gemini. Oh my God, that's too many. just want one spirit. Let's get one more for this person coming towards Gemini. What else about this person coming towards Gemini? They're pretty slow moving. Oh, you have free spirited. I think this is you that does that to them. This free spirited thing because it's coming out over this like 10 of cups and this eight of wands. I feel like you're dealing with someone who, they might be a little repressed, like with the king of cups. Um, especially if, if, if they've been dealing with this kind of queen of swords energy and this five of swords, like all this kind of sadness here. And I feel like there's maybe a lot of judgment as well that this person kind of endures. Because with the Five of Swords energy, it's like nothing that you do is right. You know, it doesn't matter what you do for this person. It's not, it's never right. It's never enough. There's always going to be criticism. So I feel like they really like being with you because there's like this emotional, I feel like you just get each other. I feel like you read each other very well. Even There may also be, almost be like a, a telepathic thing going on here, like you can be kind of next to each other and like know what each other's thinking, even though you've not said it, because they find that you make them feel more free, which Gemini's do that a lot, right? Because we're kind of crazy, but um, it, I just see them really opening up to you, like with this eight of wands, they're getting ready to kind of almost like explode. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Um, because they just feel like they can totally be themselves with you. Because I see these little kids dancing here and they, they, it's just they feel very open with you. You know, they don't feel like they have to hide who they are with you and you probably feel very similar to like, they, they feel, you feel very similar with them. And with this page of cups here, I just feel like there's a little kid inside this person like just screaming to get out. Like this little free spirit that's screaming to get out. And it doesn't, they don't get to do that with anyone else. So, Yes, Gemini, I'm going to leave it there. I didn't mean to make the reading so long, but there we go. Um, I hope it was a useful reading. Uh, many thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If you feel like doing that, I'd appreciate it a lot. Uh, many blessings, Gemini. Love and light.